Hello, and today we're going to be talking about risk versus reward, right? Um, one thing about new players and beginner players is that when they play, they do not really take into account risk versus reward. Because basically, once the match starts, everything is a game of, you know, gambling. You, you put stuff on the line to get stuff so the whole point of this video is to try to open your eyes to the concept of risks versus rewards so to help you make better choices in your game so today I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be talking about the factors that affect risks risk versus reward and um, one factor will be life lead Another factor will be meter, another factor will be time, another will be positioning. So when you have a life lead, you have to ask yourself that my actions from this point are they going to help me increase my life lead or am I gonna put much on the line when I do what I want to do and the thing is the decisions you make are also tied up to the meter available to both you and your opponent and the choices you make can also be affected by time also positioning will in this case give you a lot more options to pick from because you have more options when you have a lot of room behind you than when you're stuck in the corner so life lead meter time positioning are factors that you always have to keep in mind to enable you make that those critical ma ma match choices now let let me I think I'll do better at explaining this if I show some scenarios so let's say I'm using Gen and I'm facing Kami and we both started the match this okay I'm talking about defensively here so Kami knocks me down and she goes for cannon strike cannon strike mix up now if she lands this you probably hit a BMB worth of uh, let me say 200 plus now that's our goal now my goal is to choose from this option should I block best that can happen is I enter pressures pressure and probably escape with little damage from maybe a throw and I may fail and eat my 200 plus damage combo if I reversal at this point Gen has no meter so that's not even an option so I'm going to lose 20 plus damage if I try to backdash backdash means that probably the cannon strike will end up whiffing but I can get option selected at worst and the option select will be a spiral, spiral arrow at this point which will lead me into a reset or I probably probably will get hit by the cannon strike and go straight into a reset or my can focus backdash in which best case scenario I take um, great damage and worst case scenario I get hit out of my backdash get hit so 
in all these options here the one that really cost me the least life will be this the least life I must if I must lose life to get back positioning because this one will probably lead back through a throw counter hit or something so most times I choose the one that to inflict less damage and get me back at good positioning so if I'm in the corner obviously back dashing will be an option so I'll be forced to block if I'm mid screen I can I have all these options to my um, for me to use I have all these options open to me if I have the time I can opt for this option if I have time and I have life feed I can opt to block because the worst that can happen is that she can um, throw me if she doesn't have meter herself so as you can see depending on these factors will actually determine what options are viable to me at a particular point in time but let's go through this if Kami has meter stocked and I have meter stocked as well so we're here again hold on for part two sorry I had an error and I had to pause and restart again so at this point we're considering what what the scenarios would be like if Gen has meter and Kanye has meter and has ultra as well so we have cannon strike and again now I block same as before I leave myself open to pressure if I backdash this time she can OS ultra that will be bad if I focus focus for oh sorry FA do you see backwards it's still the same I take great damage best and I take damage worst now the new factors that now come in is that I have EX Kekiro which will beat cannon strike if done well because it's a seven frame two if I have full super I have crane super which is a two frame move so it will beat this totally and I have mantis super which will also beat this and chunk in ultra as well so if you notice again with meter has definitely more options defensively against Kami now that also has this to consider obviously now let's look at this again but this time with again on the offense and Kami on the defense let's see how so Scenario again knocks Kami down. What do I want to do? Do I jump in? Do I walk in? Do I focus? Do I uh, I don't know, look at dash, dash in right? If I jump in, I'm risking a cannon spike which will be bad if she has meter to combo ultra after if i walk in i have mobility i can block if she throws in kind of spike and whatever if i do a focus this will break armor if i dash in i'm open and this will hit me so the thing is basically minus all this long grammar you have to weigh situations Whatever, whatever you want to go for you have to weigh in the best possible outcome and the worst possible outcome if you realize that your best option your best the best outcome will give you less um, okay sorry I don't really know how to put this but let's say best best outcome for you probably net you 240 
damage. And the worst will take like 510 from you. As you can see, the risk and reward here is obviously not in your favor. So before you go for setup, make sure that the reward, your best scenario, will be much better than the worst outcome. If you have that in mind, I trust your game will be better. So I want to say thank you for... Okay, before I go, let me give you one more scenario to give more light on this. Okay, you're facing USF4 Zangief. Sorry, USF4 Zangief. With Super and Ultra. And you're trying to play footsies. You train out your pokes. Okay, best possible scenario, your pokes landing 70 to maybe 110 damage. But what you don't know is if Zangief like it, EX Green Hand, if Lycake touches you, then EX Green Hand will get you, hit you, and you have Red Focus, and you have Ultra, and which is equal to more than 500 plus. So, measure 110 to 500. The risk is obviously bigger than the reward, so you gotta be super careful at this. Alright, so that's it guys. Sorry, this one is getting long again, and I hope you got you got something from this video. Just measure the risk and rewards of your actions in the game, and I believe you become a much, much better player. Leave me a comment in the comment section, and see you next time.